everyone welcome back to my channel let's paint with some pearlescent purple stardust so I painted one the other day and a lot of people thought it was kind of neat so let's let's paint it with some more like this and we'll do some with the custom med hook 90 degree welded bait keeper as well I have a couple friends that want these, so. And just fluff it up a little bit. Don't need a fluid bed. If you do use a fluid bed, it requires more air to move the stardust. Got some poison tail jigs. Half ounce with a three out hook. Here's the hook I use in them. Get a magnet on my bench so that helps hold that tank. And then use a forceps so that my hand isn't close to the flame. So that locks that jig in there. And then the reasoning for not putting the pin in this and then heating it is you'll get the pin hot also and the paint will stick to the pin. If you just heat the lead, and then heat it up to the point where the lead starts to get a little bit shiny. So you want a fair amount of heat into it. And then a real quick dip, because I want that to go on fairly thin. So not a real heavy coat. You can be careful touching the hook and everything, because it could still be hot. I'm going to hang it on my rack over here. I do also have the clear stardust. So I will be using the clear stardust as well over this. Be careful not to burn yourself, poke yourself. Pretty textured, you can see it's not very smooth. But if you let them sit, the heat from the lead will actually, it, it, depending on how much heat you put into it, it can actually um, get these jigs to the point where they're ready to fish already. If you're not putting any 3D eyes or anything on them, and I was just going to put this one color on, um, you get the lead hot enough. Dip it in the paint and let it set and cool down. And that is usually enough that it doesn't have to be reheated. This one I did not get hot enough. See? None of the paint really stuck to it. So we're going to heat it up some more. Sometimes when I'm talking, I Kind of lose track of time and don't let it heat quite enough. You can see there's no paint on that Teflon pin. Because I didn't heat the Teflon pin up, the paint doesn't stick to it, like I said. The lead cools down pretty quick, too, so you want to make sure that you get those pins in fairly quick. See again, didn't get it hot enough. 
paint's not sticking to it. So heat it up a little bit more. I might be holding, it's kind of hard to see where the flame is exactly. Then I don't put the lead right down in the flame. So if there's paint back here on the hook shank, you can just scrape it with your fingernail. Be careful not to burn yourself. And then just pull that Teflon pin. I just twist it a little bit, pull it right out. And another reasoning for waiting to pull that out is if the, the paint does stick to it at all, when you pull this out, you're not going to remove the paint right around the edge of the hole. Now I need to get my 3D eyes ready. So I'm going to use this one right here. So you get my 3D eyes. Just stick them to yourself. You don't need a clear coat on this paint. Just heat this up again. It is pretty shiny. It looks, it looks good even without a clear coat on it. But I'm going to do a real quick, real quick sprinkle of clear just to give it just a little bit more pop. So put that pin in there. And then heat it again. And then lock your eyes in using these tweezers. Set them in the pet the paint while it's while it's wet. Or while it's still hot, I should say, and kind of wet. Press those in. And let this one cool down. Remove that paint from the hook shank. It's kind of up to you whether or not you want to remove it or not. Some people don't mind it on there. It oftentimes the paint can help hold soft plastics if you're using a soft plastic trailer on there as well. I've got to keep an eye on my phone that I'm using to record with because it kept shutting off on me on my last video. So I'm going to dip or sprinkle this on there. I'm running low on the clear. And I would usually let that cool down before removing this. That clear is like extra sticky. Good stuff.
I'll get it hot again so I can get my eyes in there. I will be putting these skirts on and everything to show or to, to make the, the same jig that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Oh, that nice and warm. And these eyes are kind of uh, the uh, they look more natural. Ooh, just dropped one. I got another one right here, though. All right, it's pressed in. Looks really nice. Let that cool down. You can chill it in water. Um, I usually, unless I'm doing scent infused, I wouldn't. I wouldn't chill these in water, just because you get that hole for the fiber weed guard wet, and it makes it a lot harder to glue your weed guards in if they're wet. So I prefer to not chill these ones if I'm not. Like I said, if I'm not doing the scent infused paint. I have a cool thing about Stardust too is I've never actually had a jig when I was painting it. Um get any type of like paint runs and stuff to it they've always looked you know really good smooth um some of the paint does go on heavier than others but there's different techniques that you can use to make it a little bit thinner so that you get the look that you were trying to get So now I'm going to heat that up a little bit. That clear is actually pretty smooth already because of the, the heat from the lead. And then I'm going to just lock my eyes in. It's kind of nice being able to just move this stuff with your finger or, you know, scrape it real quick. I do like using the torch over a heat gun. You can use a heat gun. I just prefer to use a torch. Just the heat's more... Um, it's just easier to aim it, um, and I can get the, the jig hotter, much hotter, much faster. Slip that in there. Sprinkle the clear on it. If you look, you know, that clear is already 
nice and smooth. Really doesn't need to be reheated at all, um, but doing those eyes, and I want them to lock in, sink into that paint real good. I just do a real quick flash on it. Make sure that the paint is up to temp. Really wish I could find some 3D eyes that didn't have that adhesive backing on them. No. All right, I'm gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna grab my next ones. They'll be these. And I think I'm going to go with, because they, they take a bigger eye. I'm not sure what color I want. Maybe. Do this one right here. This is just a cheap set of eyes or cheap kit that I got off of Amazon. They are they're pretty nice for being in out of a cheap cheap kit. Um, and you could take a heat shrink tubing, three thirty second heat shrink tubing, and put it over your hook eye like so. Leave a little gap. This will take a little less heat because it's a lot smaller amount of lead. So I'm actually going to heat it again right away. I'm not even going to set this one down. Sprinkle my clear on it. Heat it again a little bit. Press them in, lock them in, and then I take my needle nose pliers, pull that heat shrink tubing off, and that one is ready to fish. Now we'll just jump over to these other ones. I'm not going to paint these other two up here because you guys know the process, seen the process. So now I got some of these pro skirts. They they wrap them. These ones aren't the the round silicone. They're flat. So you want to flip them this way, and they have a little like insert inside there. So you want that end up towards the head. Just slip that in like so. Make sure it's all the way up on your 
collar. And then I use a stainless steel wire that I bend into these little bend in these little U shape. And I wrap that around just to make sure that that is not going to go anywhere. So I'll just do this one jig. I'll put the fiber weed guard and everything in it so you guys can see that. And then that'll be the end of the video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something. And... Um, have our, if you haven't already, you know, hit the subscribe. So that wire I wrap around there, just twist it, and then I cut it. These pieces will fly like crazy. So make sure you hold on to the end of them when you cut them. And then I take the piece that's hanging down that's kind of sharp, grab a hold of it and bend it back into the skirt material so that it won't be sticking out it's not going to hang up on anything and then there you have it now it's time to put the fiber weed guard in the skirt material is kind of sticking to itself you might have to kind of pull them and rip the fibers um, apart from each other these ones I've had for a little while so they might just be sticking to them sticking to themselves because they're getting a little old so and with this it has a lot of black in it blue and then the, the um, purple because it is the June bug June bug color I love June bug color. The bass love it too. And I take my ultra gel and take a, the smallest amount as possible. Just put a little dab down inside there. And then you want the glued end or the melted end. Make sure you get all those little frays off of there where they'll sometimes stick up. Stick that in there. Give her a little twist. And then let it let that glue set up. There you have it. So that's the June bug color with the pearlescent purple stardust. So that is like industrial strength and bash it off rocks. The paint's not going to chip off of there like other powder paints. Um, and this one does kind of stand up pretty well, too, um, just because of the, the flat spot here on the jig. And the skirt also helps lift it as well. But you're going to want that glue to cure all the way. So I'll just set it on this rack. Like I said, this one is ready to fish right now. Like I also said, that that's that one on custom Ned hook that's got that welded bait keeper. These are added with a, they're actually welded on with laser, so that does that hook doesn't get real hot and um, get weak in that spot. And then it's all black nickel finish as well. So check out the custom Ned hook page. Be sure to check out LureCraft.com or Lure Parts on Lure Parts Online. Um, to get yourself some stardust paint i will also leave the links in the description for the items used and like i said um, give the video a like share it with your friends and if you haven't already please subscribe for more um got a lot of videos out there for everybody to check out so feel free to look at the older videos um my more recent videos have this microphone so it's noise canceling so the exhaust fan and stuff all that noise gets knocked out um the older videos it's kind of harder to hear me so i made the improvement got the mic 
and doing what I can to, you know, make improvements with the channel. So I hope everybody notices those improvements and and likes them. If you have any other um, ideas as far as how to make the channel even better, uh, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you.